What up? Welcome back, welcome back. Right now I'm jamming to Sade, my Nija, half sister. She's dope. But anyways, I was trying to figure out what to do, um, you know, as I start this like channel, right? Um, and what people would want to know. And uh, the first thing, I called my friend and I was like, girl, I don't know what the heck to talk about. I forgot why I'm doing this. And she was like, girl, be real. What do you want to talk about? You want to talk about your journey? Let's talk about your journey. How did it start? Start from the beginning. I was like, okay, okay, okay. I got you. Get off the phone. Let me press play. Record. Let's go, right? So I came to my seats in my scrubs because I just got out of, got out of a um, nursing rotation. And I'm very tired. Otherwise, I would have done my face. I would have filled my eyebrows for you people. Just been, got a little cute for you, okay? Don't mind my like accent change up. I'm a very expressive person. So just, you know, go with it. But anyways, um, something that came to mind was like the question, what the heck am I gonna do with my life? And so I think that that question just kind of applies to several areas of my life. Um, kind of where I am right now in scrubs in medical school second year god is good um where i am spiritually um i'm a believer in jesus christ he's my man um <laughs> where i am <laughs> in terms of growing as a human being and as a woman um where i am as a creative i don't even yeah sometimes i say that word it's like uh is that is, does that even apply to me? I still have these thoughts to this day. Um, but maybe how I, how I am as a photographer, as a storyteller, um, as a world traveler, because God has taken your girl all around Mama Earth, okay? Um, so what the heck am I doing with my life? So I did say in the first um, video that I was going to set a timer because I'm always on like a time schedule, but for these first three, I'm not gonna set a timer. For the next few, when I'm like answering actual questions that people have sent me, I will be setting a timer and try to be a little bit more structured while still feeling calm and not awkward um, as we grow together in this process. But I think for this first one, I'm not gonna set a timer. I'm just gonna go through my journey, my thought process for medicine, public health, global health, all things health related um, as a profession, right? Um, and so hopefully that doesn't take too long because I don't want to take up all of your precious time because time is precious, okay? So I'm gonna talk about that. Then the next video, I'm probably gonna talk about what the heck am I doing with the camera? Because my parents asked me that question like for five years, they kept asking me, what are you doing? Fuck off, I saw your boots. So, that's a good question to ask. What the heck am I doing with the camera? Um, and three, what am I doing by myself on a plane? I don't know. Whatever. At the end of the day, I'm just going to be real and tell it like it is. Tell it like it was. All the good, the bad, and the ugly. So, this video is about medicine. So, when I think about how I started this process, this journey to where I am today, I think about my lovely Nigerian parents. If you are Nigerian, you know there's only three things you can do in life. You can be a doctor, you can be an engineer, and you can be a lawyer. If even they say lawyer, you know what I mean? Um, they do normally say lawyer. My parents said all three, but they said their girls will be doctors. My dad will say he didn't say this, but you did. You did. He said, my daughters will be doctors. My sons, you can be, you can have the option, you know. Lawyer or doctor. Pick one and go. So I was like, all right, bet. You know, like three years old, like, boom, I'm about to be a doctor, goo goo ga ga. Just kidding. Um, but I do remember thinking about that for, thinking about that as a kid. Um, I remember I went to, I'm, I'm going to tell you guys how mature I was, so like, don't judge me. So I went to a baby shower um, somewhere in California. I was very, like, visually aware back then. 
And I still remember, I think it was like Rancho Palos Verdes, somewhere along the coast, a little bougie, something like that. And we went to the house, it was for a baby shower. Um, and I just remember looking at the house and being like, wow, mommy, whose house is this? She's like, oh, they're doctors, baby, they're doctors. Hmm, you see what I'm saying? So I'm looking at the backyard like, where does this thing end? It's like you go out to one level, and it was a swimming pool. Then you go down to another level, it's a tennis court. Serena Williams was like my thing, you know what I'm saying, back in the day. Anyways, tennis court, go down the couple stairs, basketball court, a trampoline. Like, I was like, this place, this is it. Whatever they did to get here, that's me. I was like eight years old. I was like, bet, mommy, what do they do? She was like, plastic surgery. I was like, I'm about to be a plastic surgeon. I don't even know what they do. They cut up plastic. Maybe they make Barbies, bruh. I don't know, but that's me. That's me. And my mom was like, hey amen. <laughs> God will see you through, you know? So uh, I remember thinking I was gonna be a plastic surgeon. Um, I think from like, I was eight, seven or eight years old up until, up until 10th grade when I was in anatomy class at Faith Baptist Schools in Canoga Park with Mrs. Packer. And I remember thinking like, dang, you girls getting older. I think I was like 14 or 15. I don't know, but I'm getting older. And um, I was like, dang, I don't think I want to be a plastic surgeon anymore because it's just like money and it doesn't really mean anything to me because I was mature too. And so I asked her in my maturity, what do you think I should do? She said, what do you think you want to do? I was like, I think I want to be a doctor. And she's like, what do you like? And I was like, well, I mean, I like kids. I like babies. I love babies. I love babies. She's like, well, maybe you should deliver babies. Maybe you should be an OBGYN, an obstetrician gynecologist. I was like, that's it. I'm going to deliver babies. I'm going to be the one receive, pass you your blessing. I walked out of anatomy class that day like, bet I know what I'm going to do with my life. I look like someone that could deliver your baby. I could be like, push, boo, push, I got you. We're in this together. I, you know, you know what I mean? You feeling me? Anyways, so I was like, I'm about to deliver babies. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, I'm going to college because I don't have a choice. I didn't, it's like, it's like when you think about it, like, I mean, I, I'm just going to speak about my parents because not all Nigerian parents are the same. Not all immigrant parents are the same. But my parents were like, college wasn't even an option. And like my dad, like my dad really believes in the power of education, right? And so does my mom. And so... I never even thought about like financial costs of education or anything because that's how much they believe in it and they were willing to sacrifice and save and whatever to make that happen for, for us. I mean, the third child of four. And so um, when it was time for me to go to college, that was a whole nother issue. We ain't gonna talk about that today though. <laughs> but when it was time for me to go to college, um, I didn't really do research on it because I just knew I had to go. I think I remember like my dad had all these opinions about where I should go. And you know, at the time when you're a child, Nigeria rules, parents rule, they are the law, okay, the law. You, I was shaking in my boots, so I was like, yes, yes, daddy. Okay, dad, wherever you say, I'll go. Um, and I remember that I had Googled schools, I was just looking at pictures, because again, I'm a very visual person, and I saw Georgetown, and it had like walls, and I was like, bet, this looks like a college, yo. That looks like a college. And I can get the heck away from my parents and I can just like, just, you know, whatever, get the heck away from my parents. And I already knew like, okay, my, I talked to my college advisor, it was actually my anatomy teacher, same person, went to a really small school. And she was like, oh, well you, you did really well in biology, you know you wanna be in medicine, so apply for biology. So I applied for biology straight up across the board. Um, I ended up getting into Georgetown, but I, my mom also wanted me to apply to some UCs so I could have some backup plans, just in case. I was like, back up in your backyard in UCLA, like 20 minutes away, like nah, sis. Um, but anyways, despite wherever else I got into, um, God still somehow made my heart. I ended up going to Admit Weekend at UCLA, let me not miss some details. Once I Admit Weekend at UCLA, fell in love, was walking around and just feeling like peace, like God, okay, I feel like I could, I feel like I could be here. And I really don't want to be 20 minutes away from home because that's like five minutes for my daddy to drive. I don't want to do it, but I feel like this is where I'm supposed to be. And I was upset about it, but I told them this is where I'm supposed to be.
So I ended up going to UCLA for college. That was one question somebody had asked me on Instagram. I went to UCLA for undergrad. Um, majored in biology. And unfortunately, biology was not the major that I needed to be in. Biology was not the same across the board. It was plants and insects. At my school, in high school, it was like everything. And so plants and insects, it's like, nah. Like, I did not like going to class. I did not like the feeling like I used to love school and all of a sudden I'm, I'm here in undergrad and I'm just like, what is happening? I suck at everything. Like, I remember like how slowly my thoughts just started to turn negative towards myself and my self-worth and all this stuff. And I didn't even realize it happening. I didn't realize that I didn't have that in undergrad, I mean, in high school, because my parents, the things they would always say, let me get a B. God did not make anybody stupid. God did not make a dumb person. You know, all that, all that stuff. Like, so I'd be like, you're right. I ain't dumb. A B, no boo boo, and A. You know what I'm saying? So like, I was like, I was a hustler on the low low. And I did really well in high school. So going to college and not doing well, that was rough. And I didn't realize I wasn't doing well because I, was, I wasn't doing well for a lot of reasons. It was like, it was a lot of reasons. Um... Um, a lot of like emotional reasons, just a lot of things that were happening at the same time. Um, a lot of things that I was getting involved in that I decided to give my time into like volunteering and all these things because I felt that immediate gratification. Whereas in class, I wasn't enjoying it. I, had, I wasn't passionate about animal, behavioral, whatever, ecosystems. I could care less. And so I think I tried to change my major but I came in with a lot of units because I took a lot of um, classes at a junior college. My parents again. And they said, somebody told me it's good if you go and take something. But I was like, I don't know about that. And then I learned that if you took a class in junior college, it counted as an AP and it brought that GPA like up, up. So I was like, strategy. So I took up two and I was like, I was like, I'm down mom, I'm down daddy. Let's take this, let's take these classes, right? So I came with a lot of undergrad units and that was a partial issue. Um, it was very hard to change majors. You had to go through like two semesters or something of stuff um, and have a certain unit count to be able to do it unless you got like a waiver or whatever it was at the time. I can't remember what it was called. And another thing about UCLA was that they didn't really have a lot of advisors. And if there were, if they were there, I didn't know where to find them. Um, I was one of like very few um, African Americans in biology, one of very few African Americans in South Campus, which is all like the sciences. Um, everybody else was like North Campus majors, humanity, social sciences, that kind of thing. Um, and so for many reasons it was difficult and we can like go into those a lot later because I think it might take me too long. Um, so it's kind of, I, I think when I think back on my college experience, I didn't have any mentorship I wasn't close to like my older sister at the time. If you follow me on Instagram, she's all over the place a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Like that's my boom now. But then she went to school in New Orleans. Like she was out here living her best life and I was out here like, God save me today. Like just take me to heaven. Cause I can't do it. I can't do it. Chemistry, okay. Ah. I was, I was struggling. And I was, and it was partially because like the negative things I was telling myself, partially because I was alone, didn't have, didn't really feel like I had any support, partially because my parents didn't understand what I was going through in terms of like just the environment. Um, and it wasn't until my third year that I finally found like um, students that I could connect to and that could really support me. And then I started doing better in like classes. Tried to change my major a couple times, um, went to psych because I was like, well, I kind of like the way. I like figuring out how people think. I'm like I tend to observe people before I like blow out and get all extra and allow you to really see who I am. The crazy. Um, <laughs> so I thought psych was good for me. Then there's this like in between major that you still had called psycho bio. I thought that was good for me. Um, ended up realizing that I was really lazy when it came to like writing ten page papers and stuff because I slowly got like used to just taking tests. So I didn't end up following through with it. And then um, the major that I would have excelled at, everybody was telling me that it was too hard. And I listened to them because I was like, oh, you're older, you know better.